solution of Dallas County Schools forced districts all across North Texas to start preparing to run their own bus systems. After hiring hundreds of drivers, DISD says they're ready. Our Robbie Owens, in fact, rode along today as drivers trained on brand new routes. Good morning, ma'am. Come on aboard. That's where I greet my students in the morning. You know, it's been a few years since I began my day on a school bus, but it was the best way to see how DISD is managing this massive new task of transporting as well as educating students. So, hey, I jumped on board. Johnny Morgan has spent more than a decade getting students safely to and from school. We have to make correction as we go because we got this intersection here so I'll make sure I get with the students and their parents so they can be on this side of the street so when I pick them up. But he and every other driver now employed by DISD are all being retrained, making safety routine. Make sure no child left behind, no lost items. An alarm sounds if drivers don't walk to the back and check. So along with safety, our focus this year is customer service. Executive Director of Student Transportation, Kane Smith. There will be hiccups on the first week of school, as there always will be. But what's going to be important for us and for our community to see is that we are responsive. Smith says the department is ramped up and ready. We have a, almost all the drivers that we need to cover our routes. Since February, when I hired on, there were four employees in our department, and now we're over 1,000. And while the new bus chief won't need to hop behind the wheel, let's be clear, he can. He started driving at 18, paying his way through college, getting other kids to school. There may just be a day where I say, you know what, I want to get out of this office and I'm going to go drive a route. Now, even with the promise of those potential extra hands, district leaders say they are still hiring. They'll need staff to fill in when drivers are out. Live in Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.